Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You can see it. Uh, it's so lovely to see you guys. I remember March when we were trying to hold the crowd by having all the webinars. So I, I see so many familiar faces that I saw through Zoom, uh, specifically the Japanese team. I like know each of you uh, by face, but, but when I go through the crowd, it's, it's really, really impressive for me. So again, thank you so much. It's so nice to me to be in front of you in person. What we will do now is uh, uh, do something that I did when I was teaching in uh, university. I had this type of crowd, but all of them were 18, 19, and were you know, studying C++. I will ask you to be very, very attentive. And I know that some of the parts will be a little bit hard, but I promise that I will do simplified version. I will do uh, some funny stories. You will, you, know, you will not fall asleep. But uh, what we will do is I will keep this page with me because uh, simply because I got so excited because I saw your presentations on Zooms. I saw your presentation on webinars. And I felt such a power coming from you as the leader, leaders and your passion. And for me, it's so special because sometimes we feel alone. And sometimes I feel alone because I have so many ideas. And suddenly I saw people that able to take these ideas and do not live standard lives, do not live standard, you know, they put their stand much above of what's, what's out there. So I'm fortunate to have extremely smart and fun and great team in Endotech, but the addition to the Endotech that I found in you guys is just amazing, so thank you so much. <laughs> and again, the reason for these pages is that you know, as, as every procrastinator, I was uh, preparing this presentation during the last week or two, and uh, it came to me that everything that we do right now, it's actually the culmination of something that we were dreaming for a long time, and you are the team to take it there. It's something extraordinary that happened to us, and something that we got the name for it now. And that's why these pages will help me to guide me through the definitions and help you to understand where we are and what will happen to us. Because again, we can reach something extraordinary. So, Endotech. This we did already. Okay, so. Something extraordinary happened during the last eight months, and you are a huge part of it. Endotech exploded. We are a very, very profitable company with a high cash flow. We reached over 100 million in gross revenues, thanks to you and thanks to our other partners in business. Our monthly volume is this presentation, these pictures were done in June. So guess how much we had in August? Of the charts, two and a half billion in monthly revenues. Total assets under management is 150 million. It's much more right now. And the final number, totally connected accounts, again, 155. Now we're talking about close to 165. So, do you know what it means? It means that Endotech became a company which is what we promised to be at the end. We crossed the valuation, and any of you who is in valuation business and know about market capitalization, we are a technological SaaS company. Anybody knows what are the multipliers over the revenues for technological companies? 20, good choice, between 10 and 40. And for the companies that grows like that, it's, it's you know, the better half. So we did something which 
I personally, when we were doing it in January, I said, yes, probably we'll get there. But when, I was not expecting it to be in eight months. But the most important number that the new category that we created in investments, that the new world that we are creating in investments is this one. Over 60 million was brought to our clients within the last eight months. This is kind of, please, please give us a big round of applause. 60 million in profits. We, as Endotech, we as Endotech created wealth, not for the big guys, but the small guys that put between $100 and more. So for me personally, it's a huge achievement because nobody, literally nobody in the world made these things for retail clients. So again, this concept came to us uh, just over the last few weeks that we are creating the new world and completely new definition of the finance. Breakthrough financial opportunities. What happens? You know the holy grail for everyone, and you probably have, since you are leaders, you have lots of people coming to you and saying, so what can I do? Where could, can I put my money to work, right? And you all know that money working is a heavily abused sentence, right? It's like Jerry Seinfeld was talking about this, and, it's, and why? Can you tell me why? Because it fails. It fails so many times, even the attempts that they are not failing and you get some money from the system, it's still failing you in your fantasy and in your idea of what it should be. So let's do our math and try to figure out what is the idea and what is the lacking part, why it was failing, and why we succeeded to do 60 million and why we grew so much. So first of all, what people are looking for in breakthrough financial opportunities is returns, is profits, right? So when we talk about profits, is it interesting for you to get 5%? Not really. If you're talking about savings and making your saving safe, of course, 5% is nice, even 3% is nice. But if you're talking about breakthrough, about something interesting, how much do you want? You're thinking about 100. You're thinking about plus, right? right? This is what can make it interesting. But I tell you more. People that think about financial opportunities usually think about quick win, right? I want 100% today, <laughs> right? What's wrong with that? Because it's wrong thinking. You cannot force the world to give you $100 today. You cannot force the world to give you 100%. So what I want to talk to you about is our way of thinking about breakthrough financial opportunity. We start with definition of what is high opportunity investment. And this is like my you know, school, like when I was a professor, I would like you now to really focus. Five minutes of true focus. High opportunity investments. We know that there is no such thing as high returns, profits, without high risk, right? I hope everybody knows. There is no free cheese, you know. But when people think about high risk, high return, as I said, most of our minds go to the short term. Even the year of investment, we collapse it into one event. We're thinking, in one year, we will be richer. In one year, we will be bigger. What we forget about, it's an element of time. And it's extremely important. Time is probability. It's much easier to create something where you have smaller returns. They bring you to final big return, big profit. 
So what I want you to remember is when you look at high opportunity, you're looking at triangular. If you look only at high return and high risk, it will collapse. Just think about this way. Just if you have this line, it will collapse on you. Why? Because it's not sustainable. You cannot force things to work this way. You need probability. By adding dimension of time, you're basically getting where you can, where you can get the st sustainability. Now, I know that probability is one of the hardest concept for human beings. And why is that? Because we know what is zero probability. It's not happening, right? We know what is 100 probability. It means that it, it will happen. And we know what is 50-50. You're throwing the, the, you know, the coin, and you get one or another. This we get. The rest of the numbers for us mean zero. It's not something that we can feel. It's not something that we can understand and know. So how do we do that? We calculate it. There is a science of statistics that helps us calculate it. And we, as human beings, unfortunately, have to rely on science to calculate it for us. So when I say high probability, think about it in this way. You need mathematical tools. You need scientists. You need professionals that know how to calculate probability for you. Not for single event, but for series of events. Now, what happens in our fintech world? Why you experience so many schemes? Because it's easy to fool you. It's easy to show you something that is working while it's not. So let's go further and try to understand the next concept, why we're all here. Yes. When we're looking at the best in the world uh, uh, investment opportunities, before that, it was a stock market, right? Stock market promised you 20% of income. What it means that in 10 years, if you invest $1,000, how much will you get after 10 years? I did it myself, I calculated. And with taxes, I put 25% just to be fair to our, you know, varied community of different countries. 25% is taxes plus 1% P. See, we will get to 2.9 over the investment, meaning $2,900. Is it life-changing in 10 years from 1,000 to receive this one? So this calcu was calculated at the most profitable and successful. And when people talk to me, they usually say, forget about what you do. I'm okay with 20%. Why do you do 100? Why do you care about 100? And till recently, I was not able to answer it. And then I made the math. And then I said to myself, that's why. Because it will not change anything to anyone that I know. Again, it's a nice vehicle for savings. Don't understand me wrong. It's great for savings, but not to change our life. So I said, okay, interesting. What is the number that is really the life-changing number? And we started to do the poll between our clients to figure this number. Now you can do a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, internal game with yourself. How it calculated? It's 402. I'll explain you why. Just think for yourself, you are the person that has the salary, right? Have a little bit in savings because you're just starting, let's say you're 30 years old, right? So, for example, $1,000 is a significant investment for you. It's not something that you lightly can throw into something that you know it's risk capital. What is risk capital? This is very important. I hope everybody saw my video on risk capital, on the disclaimers. And this I will say right now up front, everyone in this room, I really ask to watch this video and to deliver it further to every client and every partner that touches DAISY or Endotech. Please be aware that the risk capital that people should invest is the only capital that they internally can lose. It's not your pension fund. It's not something that you put to the, your clients, uh, to your uh, ch child education. 
It's not even your next family vacation. It's something that you okay to lose. So it will not affect your well-being. But if you have the thousand and you're ready to risk it, this is what will make the change in your life. $400,000 will allow you to treat your financial life differently. I'm not talking here of becoming billionaires. I'm not talking be becoming uh, 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 even multimillionaires because this is just a dream. This is the reality. You want in 10 years to change your life financially. So 400 times is what we call breakthrough financial opportunity. How can we reach it? So we made the calculation. I will go again with a story. Important element. You put the money, you wait for some time, you need to give it a time because there is no miracles in this world. It's just, again, in, in this case, I want to be very clear. You need to exercise some new style of investment. You need to wait. You need to put money to work for a time. And the condition is that you use high opportunity investment, not the gambling, not the other uh, uh, potential ways to gain the money, but the high opportunity investment that we will right now will figure out, out what exactly it is. And you get your breakthrough financial opportunity. And then in 10 years, you can buy a house. And then you can do things with your family. This will change your life. So now, the last part that we need to figure out is what is your high opportunity? How do you calculate it? How do you check that you're actually going into high opportunity and not to in, in the new scam story or so, something that you're not sure about, okay? First of all, the risk has to be less than 50%. It immediately will cut many, many opportunities that you're going into because we, Again, as, as a people, we are very, it's like German, right? We, 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 we jumping into opportunities. We're jumping, we, at the beginning we're saying, no, 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 it's too risky into this, and then we say, oh, who cares, right? So this is not high opportunity. If it's more than 50%, it's very hard to come back to, even during 10 years, it will very, very hard back to the uh, uh, potential profit. When I speak about risk, I mean potential loss within a year. We have 10 years to try, potential loss within a single year. More than 50%, it's very hard to come back from. High return, this is the fun stuff. It's exact number of how much you need to gain annually in order to get to 402%. This number is based on the fact of that for high uh, for high returns, you will need to pay a fee to any hedge fund, to any company that works with you on the profits, right? And you need to pay taxes. So you need to get 137% from the system to pay taxes, to pay fees, and then you will get to the results. So when you're checking the opportunity, check that they have more than 137 annually. And high probability, Okay, so here is again the story. You need to find and to need to read about the fact that they understand what is the high probability for them. Do they think about probability, how they define it? So we're done with hard stuff. Now we can relax. Now it's fun. So again, you want to give yourself, you want to teach your kids that there is a breakthrough financial opportunities now in the world. And we are Endotech at the first company that doing it. That you, as 20 years old, need to put some money to work for you. You, as a 30 years old, need to put some money to work for you. And this way, there is a chance. Again, there is no guarantee ever, but there is a very high chance that it will work for you. Now, I have no idea what's coming up, so I will, I will see and uh, oh, I will look.
Oh, okay. So, for example, it's a, this is fun. Let's see. We all know roulette, right? Putting black and, and red on roulette. And then let's do it for 10 years, right? Is it a high opportunity? So let's see how you can check that it's not. Is it 50% or less? Yeah. No. Every time you're putting your dollar, you can lose it, right? So then you have no money to proceed. Is it a high return? Yeah. It's almost there because it's like it's uh, uh, 200. If you calculate this, it's almost there. But is it a high probability? Is it more than 85%? It's 50-50 and even a little bit less because of the green, right? Because of the zero. So. Roulette is not high opportunity. You will not be able, as a gambler, to get to the story. So this is a very useful tool for you to check when you're getting into something, whether it's something for the long term and you can really rely on it, or it's something that you do for fun. Another one, lots of time I, I'm being called to put money into lottery. And then the next question I ask them, do you know that, that I love statistics and understand statistics? And they're still trying to convince me, no, 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 with us, if you buy these tickets and you do this and you do this, you have a chance. So let's check. High risk, right? Because you're putting your dollar, it can go away. Almost 100%. And when I'm saying 100, it's almost 100, right? Return can be amazing. It's like for this return, we dream. But the probability is so little that year after year, it doesn't matter how much you, you invest, no chance. So the lottery is not high opportunity. But there are guys that are offering high opportunity. And I want to talk about this specific one. How many of you know this Renaissance Medallion Fund? The first floor, because I, I told you about that, right? Not you, but yeah, perfect. So this is a story, and I do invite you to read this book about, uh, about the founder. They did, year after year, for 32 years, average of 66% annually. Just think about this. It was before the huge uptake of Bitcoin. It was before that our lives started to speed up and things started to speed up on the growth. It was before. And he made, with purely algorithmic trading, he made 66% every year for 32 years, on average, sorry, on average, but for 32 years. Yeah, 33, yeah, 32, 33. So what does it teach us? This is the phrase of my brother. What does it teach us? That it's possible. It's possible. But what is the difference between what we do and what he did? The difference is that he took very small club of his employees and friends and created whooping $100 billion. Just think, $100 billion if we do the same, but not in 30 years, but in 10 years. How many people we can make change their lives. This is our mission. This is our mission as Endotech, to get to the story for you, to get to the story for our network. We want, within the next 10 years, to create the wealth of $100 billion for our clients. I know, I know. <laughs> I just, just, you know, to, to, to be on the funny note, you have no idea how much guts it takes for me to sign up to Daisy in January because I was understanding that if it works out, I have thousands and hundreds of thousands and maybe millions of clients watching the returns of the algos that we created. And you have no idea what happens to me when you see this line going down. It's like, I'm, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, how can I explain this? Because from one side, I do understand that it's temporary. I do understand, but you know, the, the, the internal feeling of what if I'm right? What if I'm wrong? What, what, you know, it's, it's, it's crashing. I'm getting better at this, of course, but still, sometimes it's very hard. 
What helps me is that we continuously work on our algos. What helps me is that I think that technology that we built is really unprecedented. And what I see is the results from every angle that we create bring profits. So this brings me comfort. Okay, so here is a fun story. So we see that it's possible, right? And not only them, I will see, I will show you some other funds that did it and they're doing it. They don't have this impressive track record, but there are hedge funds that are doing it year after year, maybe for 10 years, maybe for smaller sums, but they're doing it, okay? So I want to tell you the story. After I sold my first company, Strategy Run, and this was like a flagship story for Jeremy to tell, because I was working for 12 years on my company, and we did this amazing technology, and we sold it. After 12 years of working in the company and selling it and being happy with it, to see the company that bought it going into bankruptcy within two weeks, and going completely down. The company called MF Global was number five broker in the world. And their CEO basically did some very shaky things. The company was 3,000 employees, 13 countries that was built in 1780, uh, uh, 1780. So for, it was working for so many years. It was a company that everybody believed in. It got crashed in two days, they closed it. And they bought us, and we didn't get any money from the sale. And then we were resold again, and as a Steve Jobs, I was fired from this new company. So I, I was a li little bit crashed, of course, not a little bit, I was crashed, but I decided that it's opportunity for me to try something new, to try some other things. So. I found a partner in Singapore. It's easy, you know, from Israel to Singapore, just 14 hours. So I found a partner in Singapore and I started to, uh, uh, to work with him. And his idea was to build a Forex system that makes money. So the good part was that he had lots of money from his clients. And the good part for me that they had complete freedom. So we built a system. And uh, uh, the way I built it, because I saw so many systems in my previous company, I saw literally thousands of systems in my previous company, I knew what should work. And uh, I remember this guy, Mr. Bollinger, uh, when I was in Strategy Run and I was at one of the conferences, he actually came to me. And I was sure that he's dead, because it's like such a name, Bollinger, if you, you are in the modeling of... Uh, uh, indicators, you think it's like something that is the name of, you know, the folk song. It doesn't exist. And yeah, exactly. This is, this is a standard deviation. Like it's, and then he comes to me and it's written here, Bollinger. And he starts to talk to me, Anna, like you are the first company that made it automated. And I'm like, I'm telling to everybody that I met Mr. Bollinger. You know, like I'm, I'm it was no, no, uh, Instagram, right? But I was like, yes, 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 yes. So we built this first system and we started to make money, like 26% monthly, every month on tens of millions of dollars. It was amazing. And then I remember one day, 6 of 6 of 2013, where it stopped. Stopped producing the, the, the profits. So my plan was to improve the system and to move forward, right? But my partner, he felt very anxious about it because he needed to perform and produce. So he said this way, your system is not working. Let's go and get some other systems. So I went and I looked at all the system in the world to find what systems are working. And I found this website, probably you know this, right? My FX book. And I clicked on the first system. All of them look much better than mine, for sure. I clicked on the first one, and I saw this. So I said, Mr. Partner, please buy me the system. I want to see what's inside. Do you know how much it costs to buy the system? Nothing, $5,000. I said, no way. 
nobody will sell your system for the source code. I will never sell the source code of strategy rather or endotech or it's, it's my property. $5,000. When I saw what's inside, I understood why. So, what's inside the source code, yes. And we bought every source code available on the market. So, do you know, do you look at this, is it nice? It's perfect, it looks like what you dream about. This is the probability, this is the stability that we're looking for, right? This is five years, or, uh, sorry, nine years of track record. This is a stability, this is percentages that we dream about, right? Like it looks so perfect. I need to be in it. The only thing I'm asking myself, why there is so, many, so little number of people are in it, right? So what is the answer? And I really want to share with you the answer because it will help you to understand why the high opportunity modeling is so important. Why this triangular that I'm giving to you is such an important tool for you to check everything. So, I'll tell you how this system works, what's inside of it. Again, I really apologize if here there is a developer of the system or the system works a little bit different because I was checking the systems in 2012. So maybe the world changed a little bit, right? But this is how it, it works. And that's why uh, when, when uh, uh, Edward said that I know systems is because I've seen thousands and thousands of different systems. So I have, I understand what's happening inside. So the way that it worked, I'll show you on the chart. What they do is they see the trend, sometimes randomly, sometimes with a trend, they make a buy signal, they buy, right? But for how long they keep it? They keep it for very, very, very short time. So what is the probability for the single event? Almost 100. That's why they have almost 100% right, right? They, they get 100% times the small, 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 small win, right? And it looks perfect. You don't need to be modeling. You don't, don't need to know how to model. You just can do it yourself. Just randomly get in, wait for a few seconds, get out. You will get your half percent. Guess what? They do it again and again and again and again. What happens next? Why? Because they got in, they waited, they waited, they waited, and then it didn't work for them. So what do they do? They reverse, but heavier. This is the main idea that they have. They are not trying to make money for you. Try to understand this. They are scamming you. They are knowledgeably scamming you for results. When they reverse, they increase martingale, they increase number of lots they're trading, but for how many lots? For the same size that the green line is bigger than the small line, right? 10 times. So you put $1,000. In order for them to come back to the results, you will see, I cannot turn back with this one, let's see. If I can go back, I cannot. I killed it? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay, maybe I can do. No, okay, forget about it. Oh, yes, 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 it worked. Perfect. What I wanted to show you is this. Look at this chart. Here is how you can spot the system, the scam. You know what is this green one means? Is how much money you put into each trade. So do you see visually how much bigger is this one than this one? 10 times, right? Not twice, not three, 10 times. You know what happened here? This time they were lucky and they got back. This time they lost. This time they were lucky, lucky, lucky. That time they lost. You know what happens? 100% of the systems eventually will lose all the money for you. 100%, that's why nobody's in there, because 99% of <laughs> other systems already lost their money. You lose 100% of your money 
eventually, every time. Now, this is the fun part about this system, and I actually loved it, because this one works from 12. And you know why? Because it's extra scummy thought behind the system. They don't trade every day. They trade once per month, or they trade once per week. Why? To keep this illusion going. If you look at their numbers, and again, I'm sorry about if, if, if uh, this guy is, has pure thoughts and it's just his misconception, but he has, if, if you look it down, you will see that in 10 years he made 500 trades. It means that he's really spreading his story in order to keep it alive for so long. So this should teach you that even if it looks good, right, if you look at different terms below in the numbers, you will see that this is a scam, but it looks so nice. Let's see. Okay, this one we... Okay, I apologize, it will go quick. So let's look at our triangular. How can we see that this system is not high opportunity? The risk, we know that it's 100%. So you, you ask anyone that knows trading, and he will tell you the system has 100%. Return, yes, it's high. It can be any, any number here. And the probability is 50%, because you can either win or lose, right, in any year. Are we talking here about one year probability? So your probability is 50%. So it's exactly like roulette. So why to go to financial markets? Go and put your money into roulette. It's exact triangular of the roulette. Okay, I will not bore you with details on this one. Okay, so here is another fun stuff. So let's focus on who does these stories already. What is the, the, the good guys are doing and why they are succeeding? Because we need these stories in order to convince ourselves that we will be able to do so, right? So after this attempt of working on the system, I also tried to go to the big hedge funds and work with them and to see why they succeed. For me, it was extremely important to figure out what is the key for success for the hedge funds? And luckily, again, as Jeremy said, I got the opportunity to work with Fund of Funds. Fund of Fund is an organization that does the diligence, does the test of multiple hedge funds and decides whom to invest. So I got to the Fund of Fund that gave me the carte blanche to go and check all algo trading funds in the country. So I went to 35 funds and I had very personal conversation with them about technology, about their algorithm, about everything. And uh, again, this is kind of internal joke because everybody asking me, why would they tell you this? Why would they tell you their story? Like why would they tell you about, and apparently these people are also very much alone. They have nobody to tell and to share of what they do. And because I look like I look, all of them were really willingly sharing with me all the details of their frustrations and what works, what doesn't work. And uh, 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 what I got from it, it's very interesting statistics. First of all, I noticed that people that succeed are between ages 40 and 50, and even closer to 50. So this is, was kind of weird for me, because you have much more you know, creative energy at the beginning, and like, wh why would it happen? It's not so hard to build a system. Come on, every 20 years old guy that knows a little bit of programming can buy, uh, build a system. So I started to do the mathematical thing. I decided, okay, I want to quantify it. I want to do all the things right and to figure out what's going on. So. I created four phases system. Each fund got from me the grade. What phase he is in. Apparently, all the people that go into trading industry, they go through the phases. They don't have mentorship schools, 
that nobody teach you how to do that. So you have to do it on your own. You have to do it by yourself. So first of all, the phase one, people create successful algorithm. And usually, since they're smart, they try to do it as HHH. They don't try to fool themselves. Sometimes it happens because, again, you're lacking uh, information, but uh, you're lacking understanding. But still, usually this phase, phase is easiest. So you're taking the history of the different assets, you're trying it, you're succeeding it, boom, you're going to your friends and you're saying, I know how to beat the market, look at these numbers, let's put some money together. So this is the first phase. And luckily for some, their friends have a lot of money. So you can become a hedge fund just because you got to some nice idea and uh, your friends gave you a few millions. But then what happens? And this is such a painful phase. Lots of the guys fail on the first one. Why? Because you start trading, and this is the big story, that it just fails. It just doesn't work. And you have no idea why. You are lacking this understanding of why, especially if you build black box system. If you build a system that you don't understand yourself how it works. And this is the big issue for mo most of the beginners. They don't understand how it works. So suddenly it stops working and they don't know how to bring it back. Uh, I remember the story that I was uh, in uh, one of the offices and it was like 20 people trying to figure out why their system stopped working. And I would ask them, guys, so how did you build it? What are you basing it on? And they were not able to explain. 20 people. So they were, they, their thought process was not about what they're trying to do, but rather how to make their algo to succeed. So this is a very hard phase, is to adapt your system to different market conditions that happen every day. Once you succeed with this one, your chances are much better, much, much better. But then you get into the scalability phase. Scalability phase is when you get out of your hundred dollars or few million dollars to the normal numbers of tens of millions of dollars. The number of issues here is immense. First of all, to gain new money, to get the money, to manage the money, to know how to talk to uh, uh, the crowd, what to do, what not to do, it's, it's really requires a team. But then, if you pass this, you become a company that close to the story of Renaissance, to Medallion Fund, than anything else. And I saw this company, and these companies are not one, not two, but out of 35, there were 12 companies like that. You're not aware of them, or maybe you are, but the regular people are not aware of them because they don't accept their money. So you don't know that they exist, but this is the whole world of existence of HHH and BFO, okay? This is just from uh, JP Morgan, the numbers that regular funds have. So as you can see, robo-advisors is not the story for us to compete with. Their percentage is very, very low. But let's go to why we feel uh, uh, confident in what we do. First of all, and Jeremy showed me that I'm wrong just a few minutes ago, right? BTC benchmark is below 8% for the story that we started, right? Because it started when Bitcoin was 40 plus, and now it's, you showed me 42? Yeah, so 5%, right? And the daisy right now is 52. So in the market, in the very challenging market this year, after, and this is it's very important, we as Endotech, we were a managing system before DAISY and we're still managing system during DAISY. Other system, other algos, and the same algos, but with different risk controls. So DAISY, we're late of one month and then three months into the big profits of the Bitcoin. I was telling to, to the guys that if we would start in December 
we would show completely different results. If we would start in October, we would show completely different results. Like all of our promises of 150, 250, it would, would be like not only here, but we would surpass it, right? But we started when we started, and I said, like, we will have opportunities all the time because we are in market. Opportunities come all the time. So, okay. So, we missed it last year. Next year, we will overcome it with, with the results. But I think 52% compared to 5% of the market is not bad at all. And this is my personal pride that when we work with individual clients, we work with algos that are running uh, separately for them. And this is the numbers that the clients get. Now, I get lots of questions about this. Why DAISY is 50 when we got such an impressive results in here, right? This is results from the real accounts. 400%, 600%. 200%. And I tell you the truth. I'm personally responsible for 150,000 people. So when I think about risk controls, when I think about portfolio management, where I think about all these different elements, I'm going on the safe side. Okay? So we could be as Daisy in these numbers. But if we would have a little bit different behavior of the market, these numbers would be crashing with risks. This is our triangular return, risk, probability. Risk would be much, 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 much higher, and we cannot afford it. We have to go by risk in DAISY because we're responsible for all of you all together. So that's why we are in certain market conditions like today, we are 50%. Next year, again, if market conditions will be more like previous year or even this year, we will get with compound effect to 150, 250, and we will get to complete BFO. So all of our strategies BFO, single strategies. Now, again, as a phase three and four, as you saw there, our struggle right now to make sure that in DAISY it comes together to the BFO story. The great part is that I, don't, I didn't only work in companies that did algo trading. I also worked with brokers. And I touched why I'm so passionate about retail clients. Because I like the idea of retail services. I like the idea of brokerage services to the clients. And I entered, again, through the AI, automated conversion, automated retention, all these stories. I love this brokerage field. So when I saw our numbers this year, again, think about us. In eight months, we became the company that did over 100 million in revenues, right? So we were a huge company from, by any standard. So our conversion metrics are over 70%. Do you know what is a conversion metrics for a regular brokerage company? 15, at topest, right? We have 70%. So it means that every client that comes to our site is really so hot on the story. And this is your story. This is the partner's story. You know what is our retention? Do you know what is retention in Forex? People lose all of their money within six months for sure. The statistics that are published on all official sites show that within three months, most of the clients gone within six months, even more, right? Very few clients survive, almost zero make money. In our case, in Endotech, over 70%, and I, I wrote it, you know, I like to be conservative. If I check in, probably it's 82. Renew their subscription, and they continue. Now, why it's only 70%? Uh, Very simple fact. In most of the cases, we don't know who our clients are. It's a crypto world. We have no access to them. So once we ask to renew subscription, they might be not online. So we have to cancel them. We, again, this is the, the internal work that we need to do. But clients willingly paying us 
profit fee and renew subscription in very, very high rate. And we have over 90% of profitable accounts. Again, this 10% fall only because it trades themselves, but we cannot stop it. So, and we see happy clients. We get, when I have a bad day, I come to my sales guy and I say, listen, give me some letters. And I, I receive the letters from people that saying that we helped them to pay their student's loan. We did something that I'm saying, okay, I did this, my day is better, you know, I can, I can continue now. But we have happy clients and we're having avalanches of clients bringing clients. So, and again, it made me think why it's such a difference between what's happening in the market, all the brokerages, all the services, and us, is because we created this new category of investments. We created the category of breakthrough financial opportunities. And when my friends, by the way, all of my friends are in endotech. And when I look again, I have a bad day, I get into one of the accounts of my friends, and when I see that I made from 20,000, I made 270,000 to my, to my friend, I feel good. And you know, it's, it's really, it's like, it's, it's a feel good, good story for me. So this is the life changing stories that we created for the people. And again, I really like to continue focus on the smaller accounts because for them, for us, it's easier to get to this life changing events. Oh, yes. This is a fun story. Do you know what is EY? <laughs> Ernst and Young. Okay, for me, it was very important, and not only for me, for all of us guys. This is a big announcement. It was very important for us to get a stamp so all of you will know that everything that I'm showing is true. Why? Because I'm too good to be true. The results, <laughs> no, serious, the results, are so high and we're aiming for results that are so high and since nobody did it before, it's very hard to convince somebody that I even exist. I know that uh, in the beginning people were showing me stories that said that, that I don't exist, it's a robot, right? <laughs> so, it's, it's, uh, so we decided, I decided that I need this claim of insurance from some huge company that they will say, no, it's true, it's real, we checked it. So we went to Big Four, I have lots of friends that uh, you know, know the management, know the management, know the management, and three out of four said no. And I said, like, why not? You don't even know me. Like, why, why not to do this? And they said, no, 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 you're in crypto. We're not doing crypto. Why they're not doing crypto? Because of lots of scams that happened to them. They lost, I will not name names, but five billion lawsuit of the company that they signed on and apparently it was a scam. So once it happened to them, other two said no. But Ernst & Young apparently is very, very innovative and even revolutionary company in this term. They are behind the blockchain, the love blockchain. So we came to them in January and we said we want to be audited. They said, fine. Let's try. And then in February, they audited us and we were happy and we were ready to issue it. And then they said, I said, like, how do I do that? Like, what, what paper do you give me to do that? And they said, no, 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 you cannot do this yet. Why? Because you need the sign off of the US office. And they sent it to US and US said, they have no procedures to do this. There is no other company that we did it for. This is the first company. And then we waited more, and as I said, it's the same story as with Israeli army. When you talk to Israeli army, they never explain to you what happens inside. They just once per year tell you something, some news, if you, you know, bang on the door. So here is the same. I would, I would talk to my uh, uh, contact, and he would say, no, no, we're not ready yet. And we were not ready yet, and we were not ready yet, and we were not ready yet. And Ed was telling me, you know what, nobody believes that you're doing it, because there is no result. So I will not get into the details of how we got it, but at some point we started to push with 
questions and with uh, uh, relationship. And uh, finally, they got us a person that was in charge of the US office. He came to us, and we gave him a pitch. And he was brave enough to say, you know what? We'll do it. He was brave enough to say, you are real. The results are real. Why not? And they took the chance on us. And they opened it, but not only for us. We are their first case. That's why he said, let's try, because we are the first case that they did it for. And guess what? Not only this. By auditing our system, they put us in the mainstream. Because now, any client can use this insurance that we are real. We cannot send you this letter because it's not I, get, I got exactly the phrase that I can tell you. I will read it through. EY blockchain audit team has performed specific procedures to confirm the trading and results for the periods in the document and more as detailed in it. You can also say that EY is advising you on various matters as well. Okay? So this is like wink wink. We do have other matters that will work with EY, and uh, it will be the next story, the next time we meet. It's a very big one, but let's keep it. They're also advising us on the endotech as well, not only on trading. We are also audited as a company, as an endotech, and specifically because we reached these huge results. The results of our company is unprecedented, and this is, again, thanks to you. And I cannot emphasize more of how you changed my life. You changed the life of Endotech, and you changed the life of the industry by helping to create breakthrough financial opportunity and believing in it. <laughs> and another announcement that I would like to make is Forex. We need to make a circle. We are going to Forex, as we promised. Now, Forex is very important for us, and the reason is that it brings us flexibility and comfort of the traditional market. While in Bitcoin and in crypto markets, there are over 220 million wallets Existing, so it's a huge market already, specifically for us that working with retail clients. 220 million wallets, right? So from this point of view, we don't need Forex. We don't need Forex to be big, but I need Forex in order to be sure that if something happens to crypto market, if there is some strange regulation coming in, and we need a safe place for our clients to be moved to, we have these traditional markets that nobody, nobody can prevent us from doing that. I need the comfort of the stability of the patterns in the Forex market. I need liquidity and scalability of, for the orders. I need, here I would like to, to stay more. So remember this huge long phrase, diversification into different time frames and multiple currencies. The diversification in Forex is much bigger than what you have in currencies. And also low risk and high probability. But what I want to show you here is our favorite H, 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 right? I hope you remember. High risk, 54. High return. 136, just one point below what we need, and high probability of 82. So we are not there yet. Guys, we are not there yet. We're not at 402, but we close, okay? So we're not done yet. We have a huge team working on Forex, and we will be there. But we will release it as is today. Let's say it's good enough. 136%. 40, 54 is good enough, and in one month, I hopefully I will go out with a new announcement that we resolved and improved the situation. What's important is that 
this story. In crypto, we have a time frame of approximately four hours entry, trends, and just a few currencies, right? In Forex, we have the huge diversification into time. We have both trend and swing, and we have all these currencies, okay? And these currencies are not correlated. There is no such heavy correlation as in crypto, and they're not correlated as much with crypto. So for us, it's a very nice possibility to give you, again, the comfort of more stable results and uh, higher diversification. Okay, so let me summarize. Endotech is the first company that's doing breakthrough financial opportunity for retail investors. There is a new category that does not exist in the market. This new category will help us to teach our kids that there is other way to manage your finance. There is other opportunities. You don't need to throw your money into gambling opportunities where you don't understand how it will end up. You have something stable and something predictable that works for you. And again, no guarantees, but this can end up in numbers that you are looking for. So I would like you to join this and this concept and to pass it through, again, my, my biggest excitement about being on this stage, and who knows me knows that I have a stage fright, but when I thought about the fact that all of you that already did this amazing thing for Endotech will do it for this new concept of new category of investment, and it will bring it forward to your networks. I said, like, this opportunity I cannot miss. So let's do this. And I don't know how to close as, as greatly as, as uh, Jeremy. So just let's do this. And uh, uh, we will do our side. We will continue doing development of the models, of the technology. We have a huge plans. The story that you helped us to get definitely takes us to the next stage. Again, I'm not allowed to say certain things because there are certain processes already going in endotech that uh, 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 I cannot elaborate, but we are going to be to the next level as a company. And, but I need people like you to take the message out to people like us, right? So thank you so much.